The United States' sixth-generation FAXX fighter could destroy satellites in space. It is the newest member of the American military mind-boggling tech that has been tested to work as advertised, with a full-scale prototype having flown. Now, of course, both Russia and China are developing sixth-generation fighters of their own, but many would agree that advanced avionics and armaments of the American representatives are almost alien and powerful enough to become the beast of the future. The US military has two separate next-generation air dominance programs with $1 billion investments, one for the Navy to replace the F-A-18 Super Hornet and the other for the Air Force to retire the F-22. Both programs date back to the early 2010s when the need for a sixth-generation fighter became more than obvious. Recently, the US Navy has provided new details about its vision for a future FAXX next-generation strike fighter to replace the FA-18EF Super Hornet in the 2030s, as well as new art depicting a hypothetical design. The new artwork, which only shows a top-down view, depicts a design with a broad, almost lambda wing shape and canard foreplanes. The service says it wants these aircraft to fly farther and faster than the existing Super Hornet, have improved sensor capabilities, and be able to employ future longer-range weapons. It also expects the FAXX to act as a quarterback for groups of unmanned aircraft carrying munitions equipped with electronic warfare suites configured as command and control nodes and more. The public wasn't fed too much information regarding the 6th generation fighter, but that began to change when a mysteriously shaped aircraft was spotted by a TikToker. A dark colored shape sitting on a trailer as it moved at a location that was identified as the Hellendale Radar Cross-Section Facility at Lockheed's Skunk Works facilities in Palmdale. Maybe the fact that it was being moved in plain daylight in front of someone filming with a smartphone without being covered seems to suggest it was nothing too secret. And that wasn't all. The Navy continued, revealing to the public via its Chief of Naval Operations Air Warfare Directorate, Gregory Harris, that although the 6th Gen fighter would indeed replace the Hornets, the service was skeptical about so much high-tech in one fighter. And it isn't common for the greatest Navy in the world to be scared of new tech, so let's take a look at the top 5 features of the FAXX that seem to muddy the waters. Number 5. Air Superiority with Multi-Role Capabilities The FAXX would normalize supercruise, sustaining supersonic flight longer than any fighter ever has. With supercruise as its default speed, the FAXX would be able to deal a great deal of damage without having to slow down to become a target in the sky itself, like many fighters have to do today. It also means the fighter could operate in anti-access environments designed to keep opposition aircraft away, and so the US would have a free entry pass to whatever airspace catches its fancy. The fighter would also have the most advanced stealth tech in the world, only having to be the bully when strategically necessary. And when this fighter becomes a bully, there's nothing the opposition can do about it. Dominating in air-to-air, air-to-ground combats, surface warfare, close air support, and many other combat situations. The FAXX also gives pilots more family time with its ability to operate whether manned or unmanned. This sci-fi surveillance, reconnaissance, target acquisition fighter would be capable of every form of electronic warfare with respective countermeasures to defend against the opposition and even against itself should the need ever arise. Number 4. Maximum Connectivity and Sensors The intelligence of any fighter depends on how much data it can perceive, and so the FAXX would likely be the most intelligent of all. The fighter's sensors come with maximum connectivity, and thus the ability to share its data with every other member of the fleet, whether 6th generation or not. Having every US fighter on the battlefield equipped with relevant information would make the opposition as predictable as the sun rising from the east, keeping the United States one step ahead at all times. And it gets even worse for the opposition. The US is upgrading from radars mounted on the aircraft to electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. 
This results in increased sensor sensitivity and networking adaptability, allowing the FAXX tons of battle information in fractions of a second from satellites, which understandably always have better viewing angles. So combined with its own data, the FAXX could easily brew a detailed real-time battlefield map, dish it out to its comrades, and unleash an unimaginable level of fury all at the same time. Number 3. Open Architecture With other top nations seemingly catching up every generation of the way, the US has come to realize that an aircraft will always have room to be better, no matter how advanced it is. This is why the FAXX comes with an open architecture to make it easily upgradable. This flexible setup favors every class of the aircraft, from the sensor suite taking on improved program codes to its weapons bay being able to shift priorities from traditional projectile weapons to directed energy laser weapons, depending on the preference of any particular mission. Therefore, it wouldn't be much of a stretch to say the 6th generation FAXX fighter could become the 7th generation FAXX fighter in some decades without having to tear it all down. Number 2. Increased Payload Thanks to more efficient space management, the FAXX fighter can take on more payload than fighters of similar size ever could. Then there's the fact that the fighter does have a larger blended wing airframe than today's standard, which also contributes to the cause of increased payload. The pros of increased payload are limitless, ranging from more weapons to more fuel, which in turn results in more range. The fighter would also be able to take on larger, more powerful laser weapons and cooling systems to cool down the laser weapons in time after taking shots at targets on the ground, in the air, or, crazy enough, in space. Number 1. New Spectrum of Weapons and Propulsion If attack is the best form of defense, then the FAXX is the ultimate defender. Its strategic array of weapons is a mix of high-performance guns, missiles, and directed energy weapons that ensure total air superiority. The only con of such weapons would usually be the high costs, but have been balanced out by the relatively friendly cost of the fighter. Yes, contrary to common belief, the fighter isn't looking to break the bank. The aircraft's propulsion is also one to behold leveraging the power and dynamic nature of an adaptive cycle engine that could operate efficiently under subsonic, transonic, and supersonic conditions. And thanks to its air-to-air -air refueling capabilities and aircraft carrier compatibility, the FAXX, in theory, has limitless range, making it a true intercontinental weapon. However, dominating as it is, the FAXX might not have it easy with foreign competition upping their game almost at the same pace as the US. For now, in terms of timeline and capabilities, the American fighter does seem to own the throne, but closely behind are three competitors thirsting to snatch the crown. Tempest Tempest is a sixth generation fighter under development by Team Tempest. The Team Tempest consists of the UK Ministry of Defense, the governments of Britain, Italy, and Sweden, and then aerospace and weapon-making companies such as BAE Systems, MBDA, Rolls-Royce, yes, that Rolls-Royce, and finally, Leonardo SPA. The fighter is planned to enter service in the 2030s, replacing the Eurofighter Typhoon for Britain and Italy, and the JAS-39 Gripen for Sweden. It's unclear the budget for the entire project, but the British government alone is expected to pour £2 billion into the pot by 2025. FCAS You can bet Germany, France, and Spain wouldn't take a back seat with all the 6th generation fighter frenzy going on. The three nations came together to develop a fighter under a collective program known as the Future Combat Air System, or FCAS for short. This fighter is being developed by a lineup of established corporations, including Airbus, Indra Sistemas, Thales Group, and Dassault Aviation. The fighter, once in service by the 2030s, would replace Germany's Typhoons, France's Rafales, and Spain's EF-18 Hornet fighters. MiG-41 
The MiG-41, under development by Mikoyan, aka MiG, is Russia's entry into the race and is easily the biggest competition of the FAXX fighter. The MiG-41 is a heavy fighter, expected to enter service between the mid-2020s and 2030s. Russia actually didn't designate it as the MiG-41, but has earned this unofficial name thanks to being a MiG aircraft with a project code having something to do with 41. Its planned name, however, although Russian, when translated to English means Prospective Air Complex for Long Range Interception, which is exactly what it's designed for, preventing the opposition from any form of superiority. And it turns out superiority is exactly what the FAXX was designed for. So the FAXX versus MiG-41 would be a case of an unstoppable fighter against an unbeatable defender. And on paper, the fighter from the US is more than ready for the challenge, enabling air superiority in the most challenging operational environments with the perfect balance of digital engineering, agile software development, and open upgradable architectures. The US has been more than discreet on how many dollar bills would go into the development of their sixth generation program, but we know someone out there can make a calculated guess. And if this someone is you, kindly share with us in the comment section down below. Also, what other 6th generation fighters would you like to know about? Depending on how many likes this video gets, you could get a video on your fighter of choice. So hit the thumbs up button below and remember to subscribe to the channel so we can notify you when we post a new video. And that'll be all for now. Thanks for watching.